What is going on here at Jets fans? Probably the biggest thing left on Joe Douglas's offseason to-do list is to extend Pro Bowl defensive tackle Quinn Williams. Now, according to Rich Samini, the two sides have been talking for a while and aren't really close to an agreement in terms of price. Uh, here is directly from Samini's article on ESPN. Quote, two defensive tackles from Quinn Williams draft class, Tennessee Titans' Jeffrey Simmons, $23.5 million a year, and New York Giants' Dexter Lawrence, $22.5 million a year, have received big extensions this offseason. Williams appears to be the next man up. But the two sides aren't close to an agreement, even though the second contract a market for top defensive tackles is clearly formed. The Jets have leverage because they have Williams' rights for 2023, plus a potential franchise tag in 2024, but it doesn't do them any good to upset one of their top players, in the meantime, he's skipping voluntary workouts, unquote. Now, I will mention in there, if you didn't know, Quinton Williams is expecting a baby like any day now. So I don't know if he'd be at the voluntary workouts anyway. Um, but at the same time, th that shouldn't impact the chats they've been having for months. So if they've been far apart on price for a while, then they're probably still far apart on price if Rich Samini is correct. It's a little confusing because, as Samini does point out, the market is fairly set. His contemporaries are making 21 to $23.5 million a year. And Quinnen was, last year, Quinnen Williams is arguably the most valuable defensive player in the conference, in the AFC. Uh, Chris Jones, Miles Garrett, an injury-shortened season from T.J. Watt, he was as valuable as any of those guys. And the Jets' aspirations of having a Super Bowl-caliber defense – all due respect to the other all pros on the team and Sauce Gardner and CJ Mosley, start and end with Quinnen Williams being a game wrecker up front. He's the best pass rusher. He's the best run defender. He opens up uh, everything for the rest of the defensive line. Now, at the same time, does that mean Joe Douglas writes him a blank check and gives him Aaron Donald money? No, Aaron Donald had that Quinnen Williams breakout year for like seven straight seasons before he got the bag. Now, if his contemporaries are making 21 to 23, I think Quinnen is better than a lot of the other defensive tackles that we've mentioned so if they want to tick that up a 10 percent raise to 25 million a year uh, i'm fine with that you want to guarantee most of it over four years uh yeah i'd be comfortable with that as well so we don't know what jd is offering and we don't know what quinnon is asking so the fan perspective is always just pay the man now the jets are gonna mess it up and we did the same thing with the aaron Rodgers trade right just get it done jd is messing up another team is gonna and then jd does it and then most of us are, or half of us are calling it an overpay. So <laughs> we kind of can't have it both ways. You either have to be patient or you have to be comfortable with an overpay. I highly doubt that Joe Douglas is offering Quinn Williams a contract that is below the market value that has been clearly set. And to me, I'll start, it'll start being on my radar or something to worry about at the, at the earliest of mandatory mini camp, which is in like five weeks. So congrats to Quinn We'll have the baby in a week or so, and then we'll have a month uh, at home with him and his wife. And then when it's time to roll around for mandatories, if it's still not done, then it will probably become a real story. But for me, I'm not panicking about it any more than I was panicking about Aaron Rodgers becoming a Jet. It's going to get done. Both sides have to have uh, their price met. And if you want to talk about more Jets news, we can do that down below. Subscribe if you are new. And uh, go Jets.